Good afternoon, my name is Frank Pickering. This is the final presentation for our Managing Innovation class. Uh, we, the last case study was Disney and their reorganization. And what I'm gonna do today is a little, summarize a little bit about what Disney did with the reorg and then how it applies to, to me and my business because my business is going through a very similar reorganization. And uh, I think that as I, as I go through the new and the old, a lot of the points will be the same between the two. So. Uh, Disney had, had units and they had a manager in each unit. In our company, we have this uh, something very similar, what we call regional vice presidents, and we have 10 of them. So the country is broken down into 10 regions, and within each region, there's one regional vice president and two AVPs. Underneath that, you have all the different organizations. You have sales, service, um, bodily injury, claims, auto damage, HR, everything that goes with hiring of people, all your support systems for facilities. We have attorneys. We have a fleet of cars. So you can see our company is broken down into 10 silos like this. So very similar to Disney, where you had one person in charge of the silo and had all the individual pieces underneath it. I think I remember there was about six of them that they had, six managers. Their reorganization changed to business units, which is basically what we're going to do in, in my organization. We're gonna to go to business units where we no longer have one regional vice president that controls all the different various aspects of automobile insurance. So for example, we're gonna to go to AD is auto damage claims. We have liability claims. Sales service, sales service and underwriting. And then we have um, facilities. And we have attorneys. So essentially what we took is we took the largest business units within here and put them over here. And underneath each one of these we'll have one or two vice presidents. And then from there we'll have directors and on. So while it still appears to be silos, they're broken up a little bit differently where here your regional vice president and, and assistant vice presidents who are officers in the organization were managing many, many different disciplines and they weren't really experts in all of them. They were experts in a couple of them. So what we're doing is we're moving to business units and the advantage for us, just like Disney, I think that the big point of what Disney is doing is there are some strengths and some weaknesses to the new reorganization and they're very similar to ours. So one of the strengths of doing this is you have, um, subject matter experts. So the person that's gonna run auto damage has grown up in auto damage, has the most experience, and they will be able to bring their expertise to this department. Second, leverage best practices. In the old model where there was 10 regions, every region operated as its own little company, which for a while worked out for us. But what has happened over time as everybody feels like their, their unit uh, has the best way of doing things. So the Northeast does things one way, the Midwest does another, Southeast does another. There's best practices within there, but in reality, there's only one best practice or two best practices, and we wanna leverage those. So if you do it like this in business units, you're able to take all those best practices, level uh, and leverage them across the company. So these two pieces right here, I'd say fall underneath loss control. And when you want to uh, make money in a business, you have to control your expenses. And in an automobile, it's either your general expenses, your loss adjustment expenses, or the losses you pay out. By having a subject matter expert and you can leverage across the country, you'll have better loss control. The third reason it will work, well, the benefit actually is economies of scale. So if you see over here, 
Every region had an HR department, had a facilities department, had attorneys, had fleets, um, auto damage, vital injury. Every region had this. So what happens when we're able to consolidate together, we realize you have better spans of control because in one region you might have had too many HR people, another one not enough, or you have too many facilities. And so when you, you put them all together into one business unit, you're able to realize economies of scale and this will control our expenses. So that's very, very important for us. So the new structure, like Disney's structure, Disney had the same thing. They were to put a uh, subject matter expert there, able to leverage best practices, and they were gonna experience economies of scale. Some of the weaknesses of doing this might be um, general manager experience. In this version here, you worked with a lot of different departments all the different time. So as you moved up in the ranks, you gathered knowledge on all the different departments. So when you were in the senior group, the senior officer group, you had a lot of general manager experience. We're gonna have to be very careful um, that we don't lose this opportunity to have to build general managers because if you just stay in one lane and go all the way up um, You're gonna lose some of that cross knowledge that you would that you gain uh, by having it in this section Another thing here um, The big thing that I worry about in our organization is it's such a huge change and communicating that change to your people is a big deal because people run your business and this is liable to cause such strain on them because they worry about are they going to lose their job? What's the new reorganization going to look like? And there's a lot of a lot of possibility that change here is going to cause problems for folks. Those are really the two biggest issues that I see. Uh, well, the third one is when you have all these sub, you kind of have these sub departments that they're going to get lumped into one of these one of these silos here. And I think there might be some confusion, at least initially, on how to allocate those resources accordingly here. But overall, I think Disney's reorganization um, is going to work. And I think it's a, it's a good thing because they're gonna get expertise uh, in those specific areas that they need. So I, I, it was very timely for me to read that as we're going through this right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am gonna be one of these people here. So I've been tasked with uh, setting up the auto damage department for our company and reading your case study really helped drive home some of the things I need to think about as we did this. So I think Disney was headed down the right path. I hope this kind of explains uh, what Disney did and how it translated into my world. Thank you for your time.